Hey everyone, I am Nate and welcome back to Hype Up. It's now time for another top 10 list. In today's video, we are going to be having a look at the top 10 best animal companions in all video game history. Some of you are going to be upset with some of the things that made this list, but I used science to get the list. So if you have any complaints or any other suggestions of characters who should have made it onto the list, let us know down below. In at number 10 is Rapide from Tales of Vesperia. There are other dogs that are on this list, but Rapid is definitely the coolest looking one. Seen in the game using a dagger as a weapon and using a pipe during their downtime, Rapide is Yuri Lowell's loyal sidekick throughout the series, first appearing in 2008. During battles, Rapide is one of the fastest attacking characters in the game and is the only character to be able to steal items from opponents through the art of thievery. Rapide also has an incredibly useful ability through being an item expert, which probably comes from the number of things that you can see him carrying around. All items carried have increased effectiveness with their passive skills, and if this wasn't impressive enough, because of them being a dog, there are a handful of large-scale attacks within the game that completely miss their hitbox. What a good boy. In at number 9 is... Shadow Mir from The Elder Scrolls. Originally appearing in Oblivion when completing the quest The Purification, and then again in Skyrim when completing The Cure for Madness, Shadowmere is a unique and essential horse found in the Elder Scrolls series. First owned by Lucien Lachance, Shadowmere is one powerful horse. Their high health and aggressive nature make them quite valuable when it comes to combat. They can climb inclines that you couldn't normally climb on your own, and they look super cool. Look at this horse! Not only that, but Shadow Mir, through an exploit in Oblivion, has no encumbrance, which means that they can carry an infinite amount of loot that you can find when exploring the world. Though they don't do a lot of damage, Shadow Mir is always up for a fight and is willing to throw hooves at dragons at Skyrim. In at number 8 is Rush from the Mega Man series. Rush, the mechanical dog, first appeared in Mega Man 3 and, since then, has had many abilities and responsibilities added to their list. Initially, Rush could turn into a hoverboard, spring coil, and even a submarine to help Mega Man transverse and explore the world. Later on, fusing with Rush allowed Mega Man to become Super Mega Man, unlocking his full potential thanks to his companion. There was also the introduction of Rush Recharge, which would heal Mega Man, the ability to fetch items, and to turn into a motorbike to get around the world. What can't this good boy do? In at number 7 is Tails from the Sonic series. Miles Tails Prowler isn't just a player on words for miles per hour, but is also Sonic's closest animal companion. Some of you in the comments section down below might argue that they're all animals, but Tails is an animal that is a companion, and I will argue this in the comments section, so bring it. Appearing in 1992 in Sonic 2 and becoming a playable character on the Genesis version, Tails is as much a part of the Sonic franchise as Sonic is himself. This eight-year-old fox with two tails is a mechanical genius and a skilled pilot which is shown by the ability to fly like a helicopter by spinning their tails. This ability has helped Sonic and other companions many times across a lot of video game titles when it has come to defeating Eggman, aka Dr. Robotnik, and saving the world. In at number six is Agro from the Shadow of Colossus. The storyline is simple. You want to bring your girlfriend back to life, but you first must slay some ancient giants in an incredibly large but glorious wasteland. You only have one friend with you to help you transverse these lands, and that's Agro, your horse. Not only will they ride into battle with you against deadly titans, but they will also aid you in battle and is with you almost to the very end. I warned you there are going to be some spoilers and some heavy moments. When scaling a mountain while heading to one of the final battles, you visibly see Agro getting tired. While making your way across a bridge near the top, it starts to fall apart. It almost looks like Agro knows that they aren't going to make it, so in one last heroic feat, they buck you off to safety as they fall into the darkness below. In at number 5 is the dog from Fable 2. Another good boy has made it onto the list, of course, and this one is an integral part of the game. The dog becomes your companion when you defend it from a bully when they're a child. While exploring the world, your dog will help you find treasure and help with certain quest objectives. 
There are also books around the world that can be found or bought that will teach your dog new tricks, as well as increase their combat and treasure hunting abilities. Not only can you pick between a Dalmatian, Bloodhound, Husky or Mutt with DLC, but the dog also changes throughout the game based on your decisions. A good dog will be happy, full of energy and people will pat and love them. If you start being evil though, the dog's cloak will change black, their eyes will grow red and they'll be hated by everyone. Spoilers! Regardless, your dog near the end of the game will heroically dive in front of a bullet that was meant for you, saving your life and definitely making it a good doggo. In at number 4 is Pikachu from, of course, Pokemon. If you didn't know that, what are you doing? We probably could have listed all Pokemon in this space, but Pikachu is by far the most iconic. If you want to argue, let me know down below. I don't really know if I have to explain what Pikachu is because, well, hopefully you all know. In Pokemon Yellow, Pikachu has a bit of an attitude, and that is shown by small animations where they turn their back on you when you try to interact with them. Sometimes they even pretend to be asleep. Though the relationship has a rocky start, they become your closest companion throughout the game. This was all the way back in 1998 and with the release of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, with the ability to dress up and interact with Pikachu more directly, the spark between yourself and this little electric mouse grows even stronger. It's more of a thunder than a thunder shock if you understand Pokemon moves. In at number 3 is Dogmeat from the Fallout series. This is the last dog on the list. Do you think Dogmeat is better than Rush? Rapide and the dog from Fable 2? Let us know down below. When you first meet dog meat, get it? They're adequately showing you some of their fighting skills by taking on several raiders. After assisting, if you decide to, dog meat becomes your companion for the remainder of your journey, aiding by collecting ammunition, food, weapons, and chems. Not only that, they'll growl when enemies are nearby, will jump into battles with you, pull the attention of enemies away from you, and is capable of bypassing locked containers and doors when you instruct them to find something. It's a little bit of a hack. These alone are enough to make this character essential to the completion of this game, but there is one more aspect of this game that stands far superior to any of these, and that is... Goggles and Bandanas. You don't need anything else. In at number 2 is Epona from the Zelda series. Of course this stallion was going to make it onto the list, but the question is, do you agree with it being better than Agro? Let us know. Since Ocarina of Time, we've known her as the dedicated companion who has helped Link in many battles no matter how long or hard the journey is. Also, this prestigious creature will not simply appear to you when you whistle. No, she requires that you sing for her. I think that is a small price to pay for a companion who is also able to endure every and any physical attack that was thrown at her in the heat of battle. Can you imagine how painful it would have been getting around without her? Before we reveal what number one is, what have you thought of the list so far? Are there companions on this list that you think shouldn't be there? Are we missing any? Let us know in the comment section down below, but it is now time for number one. In at first place for the best video game animal companion of all time is and I might get some hate for this in the comment section down below, is Yoshi from the Mario series. Yoshi has worked their butt off for many, many years within the Mario series, so it only seems fair that they are given the crown as the best animal companion in video game history. Through thick and thin, Yoshi has been there throughout Mario's entire life as seen in 1995's Yoshi Island, where Yoshi cares for baby Mario. Properly known as... <coughs> T. Yoshi saw Mucha Koopas, Yoshi has always been a powerful ally with the ability to swallow enemies, swallow power-ups, and use them, and a very powerful stomp ability. Yoshi's notoriety is so prominent that it was decided that they should be included in Smash Bros and in Mario Kart. I think we can all agree that having them out of those games would have been weird, and not having Yoshi as number one would have been even weirder. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you like, as well as subscribe, and check out some of our other videos. I'm Nate, this is Hype Hub, and we'll see you all next time.